So I was at the Chinese supermarket when I found this. Now I ripped the paper out to show you guys but it didn't rip straight and my dog sunk two of his fangs into it. Uh, my puppy. And today we're going to be using this pad. Sorry about that. It's pretty noisy. It, it's usually not that noisy here. It's it's mostly quiet in Good Fortune. Good Fortune is a very quiet place. So today we're going to be using this to paint. And um, like always, we are going to time lapse the drawing process. Well, not like always, um, but we're going to just try to speed up the drawing process because you don't want to sit here and listen to me be silent and draw. Hello there, welcome back to another video. Before we get into it, hi, I would like you to meet Lilith. Lilith here is the newest member in our family and um, she got here Christmas Eve. Lilith, you're gonna say hi? <laughs> the curious little one. You don't wanna go say hi? Anyway, um, we're just going to get into the painting. Mm. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. My name is Rishti and welcome to Mischief Art. Here on this channel, we do drawing, painting, craft, and basically anything that just happens to swing by. Now, on today's video, we are going to do a drawing on this very cheap drawing pad I got from the Chinese supermarket that's not that far from where I'm living. I believe the supermarket is called JC Supermarket. Yes, the supermarket is called JC Supermarket. Now, it did have some cheap paints there, but I forgot to pick them up. So when I go there on my next trip, I'll probably pick them up. That's if I even remember to pick them up. I also got The Sims loaded onto my phone here that I'm about to play, but I'm going to try to finish this video before I even think about playing The Sims. So I'm um, sorry about that. I'm going to get sidetracked telling you about how much I love playing The Sims and why, but I really, really, really want to tell you about cheap art supplies in Ghana. Well, not really. I don't want to tell you about cheap art supplies in Ghana, but you know, we're making a video anyway about how to find cheap art supplies, even though I am using alcohol markers that's not even from Guyana. So we shall start with where you can find such cheap, such cheap art supplies and what you should buy from said store. Now, the first place you should find yourself in would be Georgetown. Georgetown is one of the best places for cheap stuff, cheap anything, because you can go from store to store and you will usually always find a better price somewhere in Georgetown. And the first place we are going to go to would be China Trading, but the name is actually Hong Tai Trading. I have no idea why they just call the place China Trading, but they did. Now you can find these wonderful textured drawing pads. You can find these textured drawing pads and uh, they're actually they're really affordable. I have one. I regretted not buying more when I go back there. I am going to buy more. And these textured drawing pads they're good for doing not just portraits on it, but the portraits I like doing portraits on them. You can do your watercolor painting on it. The page hold up pretty well to layering a bunch of paint on it. And uh, with the texture, you just have this really cool look in the end. It also comes in two different sizes. In 
They have pencils, pens, erasers, sharpeners, markers, which you can find, which you can also use when it comes to drawing. They have the gel ink pen that you can use to line your artwork. They do sometimes have paint, but not that often. But they have the paint brushes, especially those really, those really fine paint brushes, those paint brushes with the number one on them. They have those, the ones that I like to do to do those fine details. And they have the glue stick that's really, really cheap there. Their glue sticks are like super cheap. So you should definitely head out there to check out what they have. So now that we finished the actual drawing here, I'm trying to think about what medium I should use to, you know, do everything since I am using a new paper. I was thinking watercolor, but then I had this great idea what if I start with alcohol markers since I only have one pack of the alcohol markers and I'll do different illustration and we can make this into a mini series to see what our supply works best on this cheap paper. Now I want to move the chair but I can't because the dog is like right underneath it so I can't really roll the chair. So from where I am right now I've got to sort of like stretch across to get this off of the table if you're hearing an echo chamber with me speaking like this like this that is because um well i have no idea how it's echoing off the wall in this room oh i will try to fix that in the future but um i've got the markers oh boy so we will try it with the markers first and um, then we're going to use the other art supplies that I have. So even though The Sims is taking up a little bit more of my time, I'm just going to try to finish the recording for this. I'm pretty sure you can hear The Sims in the background, the musical noise it would make. Now we're going to leave China Trading on Hong Kai Trading alone and we're going to move on to another store right in town. Now this store has I think two branches. They're a bit close to each other but we're talking about Manishwaras Limited. 
and in Manish Wars Limited, you can find a lot of stuff, not just art supply, but they have a lot of stuff cheap. And the thing about them, they're a wholesale retail chain. So if you buy three and up of an item, you will get it for a cheaper price. And that's actually where I go to buy my canvas and my paintbrushes. But they don't have the very tiny paintbrushes, nor do they have a lot of um, paper that you can use. But they do have cardboards and these star from paper. When well, star from these foam papers and stuff like that. Now, Manishwars they have the canvas there, very cheap, with the largest size being for under four thousand dollar. Can't remember the exact price. They have the acrylic paint there for three hundred dollars a bottle. It's actually cheaper when you buy more than three. And they, well, I mentioned they sell wholesale retail and how you can get the wholesale price they have paint brushes but uh they don't have the tiny ones that i like and they sell them in the packet they have the true watercolor paint along with oil paint they sell paint palettes there and they have the printing paper there too that you can buy you could just walk around the store and maybe you can find some stuff that you can turn into your new diy arts and crafts but they're a good place to go look for stuff another thing i would recommend you do is go to your local chinese supermarket you can find a lot of craft stuff there i found this weird type this weird type of drawing book at one where one of the paper was like super thin but it looked like the expensive paper that i had gotten from was Austin's bookstore but it wasn't and one of the paper is thick like those cardboard sheets it was just a weird find you can find a gelling pens there the usual pencil eraser you can find color pencils there just check out your local Chinese supermarket it, you might find something that just surprises you with the New Year's coming in, I hope you guys have your New Year's resolution. I bought a journal, but you don't necessarily need to be buying one of those 2022 journals. You can just simply get a book and write stuff down inside to help keep yourself organized. Maybe I, maybe this will help me keep myself organized. I highly doubt it, but uh, we'll just have to see how to use it. Um... Printing paper. You can use printing paper. I use it. Uh, maybe I'll make a more in-depth video on what to do with a printing paper because, I mean, layering with it is a little bit difficult. So I could definitely make a video showing you what you can do with a printing paper.
Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on video is sadly coming to an end but no not really again i just want to go play the sims i really really want to go play but i have to finish this first that and my phone also needs to charge if you don't know this i record and edit on my phone and it sometimes gets a bit difficult i'm also feeling a bit sleepy and i want something to snack on i'm not sure what i want to snack on but i do want a snack Anyway, uh, the holiday season is coming to an end. New Year's is just around the corner. Hope you guys have your New Year's resolution. You can drop them down in the comment because seriously, I'm looking for New Year's resolutions too. I do have some things that I would like to change. Maybe making videos more often would be one of them. Keeping my art area clean. We do have a new member to our family, which you saw in the beginning. Lilith, she is going to be a handful, but hopefully we get through that. We're excited to have her in the family. And if you guys have any additional family members throughout this Christmas, and I'm talking about your pets, those fluffy little guys, or even if it's a hairless one, I would love to see pictures of them on Instagram so you can tag me them. This is something that I am going to try to do, which is going to be an art giveaway. It's going to be a portrait giveaway. I am going to do five portraits for free for the first five persons who ask for it on my Instagram account, which is at mischiefartfrish. So you should go right ahead and check that out and just try to be one of the first people to be in that giveaway even though my painting's crap hey at least it is free and free is always somewhat nice goodbye hope to see you guys again soon so you know what that means if you are not subscribed then you should definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on notification to be updated when a new video is out one of the things we do on this channel very often is posting youtube shorts so you should definitely stick around for that we also post tiktok videos you should stick around for that they're mostly cringy videos for you to laugh at and it's just going to be fun goodbye take care enjoy the rest of your holiday Easily